Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in. So today is a long overdue makeup tutorial. This is on my no makeup makeup look that I have right here. This is a look that I do when I'm on vacation or what seems like this whole summer when I don't really wanna put on makeup and I wanna just get out the door really quickly but still look like I have something on my face instead of going barefaced. So if you're interested in knowing how I get this no makeup makeup look, stay tuned. But before that, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There is a red subscribe button down below. Hit that as well as a notification bell follow me on social media and I'll see you soon all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is pull my hair back since they always seem to get in the way I am just using these duck bill clips you guys can use anything that you have all right so my lips get really dry so I always use Carmex so this look is basically like your summertime look. Like when you're on vacation and you are in a rush because you don't want to spend too much time in the room, you just want to hurry up and get out but you still want to look good. At least that's how I feel. I'm always like, oh, I wish I didn't have to put on any makeup but I have to put something to feel good. So this is a step-by-step. -step. Um, it's really minimal for the most part. I'm going to show you the different steps. There's certain points in this video where you can stop if you're comfortable with it or you can keep going and building up if you want or need more coverage. My face is really bare. I just got out of the shower. Now I always put on eye cream and they say the different steps to putting on different things is to start with eye cream and work your way from like the thinnest consistency like serums all the way to the thickest. I always put on eye cream day and night. This is just the Algenist eye cream complete eye renewal balm. Looks like that. So after I put my eye cream on, I'm going to moisturize my face. I am using the Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Refreshing Hydrogel Cream. This is different because I use a different moisturizer in the summer because the one I'm used to using, which is the fresh one, is too thick. Um, that's what the inside looks like. It's almost like a gel consistency. Since I get oily throughout the day, I like the gel ones for the summertime because they're not as creamy and heavy. I don't know, I guess I'm combination skin. I get dry, especially around my mouth area and my nose. But later on throughout the day, I'll get oily. So this helps to kind of control that a lot more. All right, so after moisturizer, I'm still gonna use a primer. This is the Hourglass Veil Primer, which I absolutely love. I've bought this so many different times and I always just buy the travel size. Oh, that moisturizer, by the way, is also really good because it leaves your face more matte than like shiny if you're going barefaced. Okay, so moisturizer's on. Now, the first step that I'm going to do is just put some concealer under my eyes. I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Now, when I say some concealer, I literally mean some, like a little bit, not a lot. Now, it's always the inner parts of the eyes that are the darkest, and so if you focus just on the inner part and put concealer there, you'll already notice such a huge difference. So I literally am only going to be putting a little bit, like that much. You can put more, you can put less, and then I always build. Thing is, I don't really want my inner corners or under eyes to be too bright compared to my face. That's why I start with a little bit and then I build up. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to pat it in with my whatever finger this is. Really do the inner corners first because like I said, that's the darkest part. And then you can bring it out. But if you already notice, there is a big difference between just this eye compared to this eye. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye. I actually think I need a little more on this eye, just a tiny bit. I like to rub the excess concealer on my lids just so that it kind of blends and it's not so dark on my lids as well. All right, and that's the first step to no makeup makeup. If you like, if you want, you can just do this. If you're comfortable enough, put on some like lip gloss or some colored chapstick or balm and I think you'll be good to go. But for me, I like to curl my lashes. I'm using a Lancome eyelash curler. So I'm just starting from the bottom and then working my way up to the top when it comes to curling my lashes. Okay, lashes are curled, and so I'm gonna take my mascara. I'm gonna use two of them. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And then the second mascara is going to be the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This one is awesome for me for a second coat. But this one is always my first coat. Now, if you have the same problem as me where your eyelashes 
don't hold a curl, waterproof mascara is the trick. Waterproof mascara will always help your curl or your lashes to stay curly. And this Maybelline mascara as a first coat always does the trick for me. It is the best mascara as far as waterproof goes for holding the curl. So annoying, I've been losing lashes on this eye and it's thinner than the other side. And I stopped using that castor oil just because I just wasn't liking putting oil on my lids and I wear contacts. And so sometimes I felt like the oil was getting in the way, like seeping into my eye and irritating my contacts. So it would be hard to blink or like, like you know when water and oil, it's like sticky. So now for this second coat of mascara, I'm using the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This one I got in Blackest Black. I did this yesterday using the Maybelline coat first and this one second. Oh my god, it just made it so thick. I loved it. This brush is amazing. So that's the difference. I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Most of you guys probably know this, but if you guys get mascara on your lid or anywhere on your face, on your nose, um, don't rub it off right away because that's when it'll sm smear. Let it dry up first and then rub it and it'll come right off. All right, so this is the two coats of mascara on my upper lid. I'm not going to put mascara on my lower lid just because this is a no makeup makeup look. We're trying to go minimal. Now I'm gonna set the under eye and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is what the outside looks like. And then I'm using number two, which is medium. So this is what the inside looks like. Now I just bought this separately. The only thing that sucks about this compact is that it doesn't come with its own sponge. So I just bought this at like the drugstore. Now I'm just gonna take, dab a little bit and just tap. Going to do the same thing on the other side. If setting your under eyes is the last step for you, then you can just set the under eyes and call it a day, or you can also just kind of blend everything together by adding more of the powder around like your cheeks area, because I'm a little bit red over here, so I do like to add the powder onto my cheeks just so that it blends in with my under eye, and I'll put some on my forehead as well. But since I'm going to add some BB cream to my face, if you're the kind of girl that wants more coverage, this is a good BB cream because it has SPF 30, or if you have a really sheer foundation, you can use that as well. Now for the sake of time, since this is like a vacation look or just a summer look, you just wanna get out there and get ready, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, by the way, the color I'm using is medium tan. I think there's only three colors in the range. Right now I'm really tan, so this is actually gonna be really light on my face, but I'll just use some bronzer at the end. So literally just using my fingers to add the product onto my cheeks. I'm gonna put some on my forehead. All right, so I have the BB cream all over my face and now I'm going to take the same powder and I'm gonna set it, but this time with the brush going all over the areas that I added the BB cream to. Now, since this is obviously like a white cast on my face right now, I'm gonna warm it up with some bronzer. This is Gimme Sun by MAC. This is literally the perfect sun-kissed bronzer. So I'm just gonna bronze on my cheeks, not doing any contour. Oh, and I'm using a Sigma fan brush. It is the F90. Taking some on the temples and my forehead into the hairline. Jawline. So now I've kind of warmed up my face with the bronzer and now I'm gonna take a stippling brush and I just like to blend everything that I do, especially after bronzing and contouring. So I'm just gonna go over those places, make sure it's not like super harsh. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna warm up the cheeks a little more using this Tarte Sensual Blush. This blush is just like a nude color.
Again, you can stop here, just wherever you're comfortable. If you wanna add some highlight, you can, which I'm gonna do. I'm using Maybelline's Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. This is, oh my gosh, I didn't think I was gonna like this. There's so many people like raving about it, and I am not even a big highlighter person. Um, this is definitely a highlighter that I absolutely love. Isn't it crazy when you love something that's a drugstore more than any other high-end makeup? It actually makes me mad. All right, so we've highlighted, we've bronzed and all that. Now I'm gonna do something about these brows. I mentioned in my favorites video that when I'm just trying to get in and out of places and not put on too much makeup, my favorite thing is this Glossier Boy Brow. Um, this one is in the color brown. You can take it a step further if you really need to do your brows. I've done that where I really just wanted my brows to be filled in, so you can definitely fill in your brows. Otherwise, this is such a great product. So now I'm just gonna brush this. All the hair is up. I want it to look a little more bushy. And then towards the end where my hairs are kind of sparse, that's when I push the product on my skin a little harder. And the brush is really like fine, so it'll add what looks like hair or more hair on your brows. All right, so that is pretty much it for the face. Now, last step, I'm just gonna add some color to my lips, not a complete, like, full-on, like, matte, carved-out lip or anything. I'm just gonna use my finger, and I'm using this Smashbox. It's the first time matte in Be Legendary, and it's this pretty, like, I don't even know how to describe this color, but this is basically what it looks like. So I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna tap on it and then just add a flush to my lips. All right, so that's pretty much it for this no makeup makeup look. Let me take these clips off and show you what it looks like. All done. All right, so this is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys like this no makeup makeup look tutorial. Again, this is more for the summertime. This is when you're on vacation, when you're just trying to get something on your face to make you still look put together, but gets you out the door really fast. There's different steps of this makeup look that you can do and then just stop at a certain point, or you can go all the way through like I did. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Before you leave, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, and I'll see you next time.